Skulls made of gold, gold. brains made of chrome, chrome. with iron chromosomes. Chrome. My skulls made of gold. What's good, warriors? We in there once again. Can't stop us. Can't stop us. Let's do this thing. Thank you to everyone that subscribed. Keeps on watching. Keeps supporting. Keeps em liking, commenting, sending me messages on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, um, everything. You know, on YouTube. And of course, how I interact with you guys. Thank you for continuing to support and just giving me the motivation to do this thing. Today, I'm going to be talking about Final Fantasy 15. The demo, that's what we're going to be breaking down, what we can understand from it so far. The demo has come out with Final Fantasy HD Type 0, right? Now there was a stream, Squaresoft, they streamed the demo and they talked about some aspects of it. It was in Japanese so we can't really understand what they're saying. But I'm going to break down what I can understand from what I see it, you know, because I've played all those type of games. I know it's a Final Fantasy team, team that work on Advent Children and Kingdom Hearts, right? So I'm going to break down what I saw. And from in it, I can see, first of all, you have all the team members on the, the world map. So that's exciting. And the characters act individually. So there's no Gambit system. There's no any type of paradigm shift them or any kind of thing that you control the actions of the characters or computers. It's just literally the computer controls the three characters that are on your team. Also, when they die, you have like a two bars. You have a life bar, which is white, and then you have another bar, which is the death bar, which is red. Once your life bar, which is white, is gone, you're left with a red bar. And that red bar, you're still able to move away from the battle, but you can, you, you're not dead. You're still moving, but you can't interact in the battle. But you can resurrect, as a main character, you can resurrect yourself if you die, and you still got the red bar, which is, comes up only after your white bar is gone and you're left with zero red. But then once that, if you get hit while in that, with that red bar, your red bar depletes. Once that red bar is depleted, you are dead, dead, dead. So you kind of got like two chances at life. Now I could say, I don't really like that. I think it's dumb. You know what I mean? It's, it's a little bit too easy. But there's the prospect and the aspect of just don't die. So I'm going to take it with that. And it's also you want to get more people into it. People don't like the fact of dying. You know, sometimes you could die from a mistake or you get a boss that hits you with a critical hit that just takes all your life off. So I can understand them putting that in there, making it a little bit easier. So I'm not going to complain about that. I'm going to say it's cool and, you know, just motivates you to step up your game and just never see that part of the game. So, and there's another thing that I saw. The game has got like an evasion. I think it's got an evasion and a block. And if you... Uh, per uh, perfect time the block you get like a parry attack which is really cool and what you also could see was there's kind of like um a parry that you've got like a team supers like team attacks like in i could say like the tail series or chrono cross series like the chrono trigger chrono cross series like it's like that because there was an aspect in the demo where um, the main character block and then he was near one of his other team members then the team member hits the enemy and then the main character did like a super cutscene attack you know so it was really quite amazing how they've interacted team supers with defensive counter attacking then offensive kind of like interactive battles in real time that's also another thing this is complete real time it's like found basically they tested this out with um lightning returns so you can see a lot of elements with the world open world world map let's not call it open world let's call it world map so we've got the world map is all in view it looks incredible certain parts of the stage of the world map sorry have got tent and tent looked ridiculous it looked absolutely amazing you have like there was like a menu where food came up and then after the battles that you've had before you've tented when you go to tent that's when you get all your experience points i think you can allocate ability points also what i noticed was there was magic there was magic they had an hp of course which is hit points and mp which is magic points but it doesn't look like there is magic per se it looks like the magic you use your mp points for ability because what i did notice was the main character he actually did jump from the Dragoon class, you know, if you've played like the other Final Fantasies, then you'll know that Dragoon class, you've got an ability where you jump off the screen and you come down with your spear and jump on the enemy. The main character actually did that ability, but it took off um, quite a lot of his MP. So, and it looked like certain powered attacks use your MP as well. And he's got like a hero mode 
I call it hero mode from Kingdom Hearts because if you play Kingdom Hearts, you know Sora's final transformation. He had um, a mode called hero mode where he had swords that revolved around him, and every time he slashed, he had like it was a powered up version of himself. And the main character, this looks like he's basically got Sora's. Hero mode from Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts 2. So that's what, it, and it spent all of his magic points. And there's like ability where you can throw your sword and you can teleport. And then you, wherever your sword is, so you can throw your sword at an enemy that is across the battlefield. And it will tell, hit the enemy and then you teleport right to where that enemy is. Or if you're out of HP or you're out of magic points, you can throw the your sword into a post which is at a high advantage point and then you teleport to where it is and you can hang from that location and you gain your your magic points back but you can heal yourself like the menu comes up so it's kind of like the old school final fantasy which i'm a blatant fan of i love it you also saw an interactive scene where you had to do sneaking past the behemoth because maybe at that point you're not strong enough to deal with the behemoth like you remember like in final fantasy 7 when you had to fight ifrit ifrit you know and you had to go there with Quistis. And you had like to do basic stuff like draw shiver from him and all that kind of stuff. Like obviously Ifrit is free, right? But at the beginning of the game, he's not free. He'll kill you if you're not careful. Same with like the T-Rex. And this is like this. This is one of those interactive tutorial scenes. So you don't fight him. You just have to sneak past him. And it looked absolutely wonderful. The graphics, the way they interacted, the kind of like cut scene-ish with real time. Is marvelous. You have four members in the team. There was you can see the weather cycles, but we're used to weather cycles, you know, from Final Fantasy Lightning Returns. Because you know, you can see Lightning Returns. They tested out a lot of elements that they've implemented into Final Fantasy 15, with like the weather cycles and the way the open world is, and you pick items up on the open world. It's absolutely wonderful. And there wasn't any car in this in the demo that I could see, but that might change in the final version of the demo or and obviously it's going to be in the game and whether we get a ship or not we'll see there was another scene where it was actually you're on the battlefield one of the warships from the enemy realms that is invading the main character's land or country they find you on the world map and they just start an attack on you 50 or so of them i will love that i will stay there and fight those guys all night long so yeah i mean i was excited i loved what i saw i loved the music that they used the battle scene you heard the classic final fantasy music when you're in the tent and then you've leveled up your you've got your you've used your ability points you've got your experience points you've gone through the tent mode and you get the final fantasy music da -da 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 -da, which is like fantastic and I just feel like the game just looks wonderful to me. They've done a good job. They've they've listened to the comments from the Final Fantasy fans. They want a proper classic Final Fantasy. None of the stuff where they're trying to add here to what um, people that really don't know much about games say they want. They know what they want to put in the game. So just do it. If we like it, we'll approve. So far, 100% approval. They say that the game at the moment is 60% complete. So we still got a long way to wait, but hey, we wait for greatness. Greatness isn't something that you rush. So I'm hype. I'm excited about it. You know, I also like the way you saw the your allies on the battlefield. You know, you had like your team members. The way they interact, they have individual actions of their own when on the on the battlefield and on the open world. Sometimes they stand and start talking with each other. They have different kinds of way they run and talk and walk and move. It's just wicked. I just love it. I'm just delighted that we've got the world map back. We've got an open world. We've got mad adventures. I mean, I'm surprised that so far we haven't seen any magic. I haven't seen any summons. But we do know summons are in the game. But I think summons are like on another level. Like, um, because you do see Leviathan in the, one of the trailers, you know. And I think you see Titan, the summon Titan in the other trailer, the last trailer that came out. So, I kind of feel that there are summons, but they're not for us to use. And maybe Adamantoys, because you see, like, one of the trailers, you saw, like, a giant 300-foot version of Adamantoys. I think that might have been a summon. Just like um, Leviathan was, Titan was, and then Adamantoys was. I have no idea. We don't know anything so far. We're just seeing Final Fantasy 15. 
getting our little bits of it and we're just we're loving it if you're like me you're loving it so i just want to say thank you for watching and um, that was me breaking down what i saw for final fantasy 15 the demo um as i said once again we'll be doing more as more information comes out about it and yeah stay tuned and let's start the discussion if you want to say anything leave the comments down below i'll be reading them as always replying saying my perspective and my point of view and together we can make a clearer picture and make this thing grow okay worries take care be safe and live fabulously